It's going to be a great Halloween weekend. Yes, Renee DiNino from the River 105.9 is here with some great things to do. Hello, Renee. I love your bones. Yes, make no bones about it. I have a lot of things to do this weekend. That is, that is a, a great thing. And Where did so you get easy. that? Where did you get that? Because so, everyone should have this. This is so easy. Let me tell you something. The paper store. Oh, and yeah. I got it like four years ago. And you know I love ponchos. I love a poncho. You put anything in a poncho. I love a poncho. I love, poncho. I love, I love a good yeah. poncho. And you can wear a turtleneck. You can wear leggings and boots and throw this on, maybe do a little something on your face, and you've got yourself the best, most forgiving, candy-eating Halloween costume ever on the planet. And I'm sure and Portland could do something on your face. Yes. You know, like do the makeup. Like yes. The skeleton. Oh, I thought you meant, yeah. No, yes, Cortland, <laughs> please fix my face because it would be cool to go no, out with like, it. I mean, I didn't no, mean like, you're, like the way you have yours with exactly. this would be fantastic. fantastic. So, yeah. We no. fixed your face. Exactly. <laughs> what's so what's coming up this so weekend? Kissable. Yes, black lipstick is kissable. All right, we do have a great weekend. Halloween chills and thrills running rampant across the state. Halloween weekend, of course. Let's start, though, with the psychological thriller. It's called Last Night in Soho. It stars Anya Taylor-Joy. She was the star of the popular series The Queen's Gambit. Now, as an aspiring fashion designer, she mysteriously is able to enter the 1960s where she encounters a dazzling wannabe singer named Sandy. That's played by Anya. But the glamour is not all that it appears to be, you guys. And the dreams of the past start to crack and splinter into something far darker. Take a look. Everyone's waiting for you. And by the way, it's only in theaters. I, I think I might have suggested that you could stream it. You can't. It is only in theaters. And check out an awesome Sunday night. Halloween, The Shining will be shown at the Foxwoods oh. Drive-In. Halloween evening, 10 p.m. Ticket price is only 20 bucks. So pack your car and here's Johnny. Danny's, 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 <laughs> not, here. Danny's not here, Mrs. Tynes. <laughs> you know what? The original movie gets me every time. It's, oh, it's yeah, scary it's frightening. You? Yeah, I love yeah. But see, those are the great scary movies, like that, Sounds of the Lambs, the original Exorcist. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never mm -mm -mm. seen that. Never No, will. no, no. Based on true, I'm out the door. No, thank you. All right, there's so many great things to do in Connecticut this weekend, from scarecrow parades, haunted graveyard tours. Uh, you Be sure to check out my Weekends in Connecticut blog, because we have a link to everything. Tonight, it's the Monkey's Farewell Tour with oh, Michael Nesbitt hey, and hey, Mickey with Dolan. the monkeys. I love that song. Isn't that fun? And that's going to be at 8 o'clock. Believe it or not, tickets are still available if you want to go and check that out. You know how you get there? How? You take the last train to Clarkson. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank All you. right. Get your zombie on. You can join Conquer Brain Tumors tomorrow. Uh, it's at 9 a.m. for their annual Zombie 5K Runner Walk. This event takes place at, I think you say Waitress Park, a Watchress Park in Cromwell. Sorry for the mispronunciation. But for more information, you can visit ConquerBrainTumors.org. Awesome. Also, Spirits are at Stowe, an otherworldly tour through Saturday Ooh. at the Harriet Beecher Stowe Center in oh, Hartford. Oh, that? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, that's this in our hood. is so cool. You can explore the complex and fascinating history of spiritualism within Stowe's broad social circle, as well as the yeah, she movements. Had, she had regular meetings to mm -hmm. conjure and to try oh. to levitate, all kinds of things. Well, let me wow. tell you something. They say they have proof of that. Oh. So this is not for the weary. You're going to be able to do this. Tickets are available in advance. Tours are recommended for ages 10 and up. Definitely bring your curiosity and or your skepticism. Tours are about 45 minutes. They're at 5, 6, and 7. Visit HarrietBeecherStowCenter.org for really more cool. information. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool, and it's really scary. Also Saturday, it's Halloween and horses at the Farmington Polo Club for a Halloween celebration. Costumes are encouraged. There's going to be a prize for best costume and best dressed dog. Gates open at noon with an arena polo match at 1, and you can visit FarmingtonPoloClub.com for more details on that. And it's kind of fun and yet sad at the same time because all the farmers markets are starting to wrap up, yeah, right? right? So on Halloween, don't miss the last day of the Coventry Farmers wow. Market. Yep, it's at the Nathan Hale Homestead, which we know is haunted from 11 to 2, rain or shine. More than 65 vendors will be there, uh, many of whom are veterans from prior seasons. And they're joined by an additional broad variety of guest vendors, including a variety of artisans and food producers. Awesome. Also Sunday on Halloween, it's the last day to enjoy the corn maze at Bishop's Orchards from 10 to 5. 
live in Guilford in celebration of the farm's 150th anniversary. The maize will represent their history as well as CT grown in the design. Maize activities will be included in your ticket. Excellent, excellent. What are you doing for Halloween? So I am very excited. Um, I've got a bucket list going for my dog, so he's going to go in his costume dressed up everywhere. Oh, that's awesome. I know. So Aww. Luke and I are going to be out. He's going to be a bumblebee. Oh, Aww, that's awesome. So cute. We used to be super dog and super mom, but super mom currently can't fit in her super mom uh, <laughs> costume because of COVID. So we'll do that one next year. All <laughs> right. Thanks, Renee. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. You guys look great. All right.